Hi, this is Carlos Marrero, and you're watching Trendencias. I'm reporting on the exciting world of fashion, beauty, and entertainment. Hello, everybody. This is Carlos Marrero, and you are watching Trendencias. If you are watching the Super Bowl, I heard through the grapevine that the show is not going on so good. Anyway, but we are here not to read the sports. We're here to talk about fashion. We're not here to talk about politics. We're here to talk about fashion, beauty, and entertainment. Welcome back to a new season. I am so excited to be back. There's so much to cover. And I, again, every season I start with my daughter, my beautiful daughter, her name is Lisa Opie, but before I introduce her and I bring her in, please make sure that you follow us in uh, all the social media on YouTube, on Instagram, and if you're watching, please make sure that you comment on what you're seeing. And I'm going to bring my dear friend, my daughter, my drag daughter, even though she's not a drag queen, Lisa Opie. Welcome to Trendencias! Hi, thank you so much for having me back. So I guess I'm not a drag queen anymore since I stopped wearing wigs. I mean, for like a day. Your today. hair is amazing. Thank I you. can't believe it grew so much in so little time. Oh, I know. I grew it all myself. There's no extensions. The, <laughs> the, blonde, the blonde is everything. You've had some thank you. great, great looks. And uh, I guess Happy New Year. We're we're here yeah, again. It's been a while. It's been a long time. And you have not stopped, Miss Lisa Opie. You have Girl. been going and going and going and going. How yes. is it going for you? Uh, talk to me about the the I want you to tell me a little bit about how the new store come out. Oh. I don't even know if you're gonna call it oh. a store. What do you call it? But you're coming around with that. There's a new class coming up. There's so many things that are happening. There's like way too much going on. I'm barely keeping up, honestly. I don't even know where we left off, but um, let's see. I don't even know where to okay, start. Okay, so we left, there... off, we left off by you crowning Miss Earth. Not okay. you, but your team crowned Miss right. Earth. And then mm -hmm. after that, the new Miss Earth, it seemed like it happened like back to back. They crowned it the, the yeah. national. Is it called, it's not national, it's the world one that she won. They crowned, yeah, the international winner and then the national winner. I think they were like two months apart. So Lindsay had a really short reign um, just because the international pageant was at the end of her national reign. So she had two months as Miss Earth USA. She passed on the crown. I was there as the official makeup artist. Um, and then I brought my friend Andres on, who's the makeup director from Miss Universe. So as a favor for me, he decided to work Miss Earth USA with me. And that's where people were like, we need to learn how to do this like glam. So we're so excited. We're partnering up for a makeup master class. It's two days. Um, you can see the link in my bio on my Instagram. Well, we can, we can do something better. We can just do oh, this. There it is. There it is. Yes. Yeah. Uh, keep, you can keep talking. Talk to me about this partnership and talk to me about what are you going to be teaching? So we have two very VIP celebrity models that we're going to be introducing soon. They're kind of a big deal and they're confirmed. We're just going to announce them in just a little bit. Um, and what's going to go on is like the first day Andres is going to do a full look. I'm going to do a full look. So you're just going to watch and learn. And then the second day is where you apply what you learned on either yourself or a model. And we're going to walk around and give you one on one training so that we make sure that you master that look. And then at the end of the class, you're going to be certified by Lady Code and Muba, which is Andres's company. And of course, you get a swag bag with both of our makeup products, every single thing that we carry. So it's worth like over $300 just for the swag bag. Okay, so the beautybyladycode.com is where people can come and, and sign up, correct? There is the, um, the, the ticket thing, but they can get the link link because we cannot do links here. But um, yeah. If you go yeah. to beautybyladycode.com, you can go yeah. there. Yeah, or uh, my Instagram and then the link in my bio. Any link, but I have it right here on the slide. Uh, let's talk about this look right here, this wig that goes from purple to white. What the, what is going on? I am living for this look. I love that one. So I guess I am still kind of a drag queen. I have a little <laughs> bit left. I love that wig. I almost wore it today. The only thing is that for short wigs, it's hard to stuff all these extensions in there. I mean, 
It's my real hair. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. So I, I have a question for you. Who takes the class? Anybody? Any Anybody. Yes, it's beginner friendly. Um, if you're doing it for your personal self, that's totally fine. We're here to cater to that. Um, definitely for professionals, I feel like this is a really good like touch up class just to master your craft. Um, and that way you can bring a model and just work on them and we'll work with you one on one on that. I am so excited. I mean, thank you. I, 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 I worked um, as a booker for a modeling agency. And I think that one of the things that drove me a little bit crazy is that mm -hmm. sometimes a model has to go for an uh, impromptu shoot and they have a great photographer, but they might not have a makeup artist. So to yeah. me, it's very important for everybody because I know you do a lot of beauty queens as well, but I think everybody needs to learn how to do their own makeup because it it's just gonna make your pictures it's just gonna it's just gonna make you coin pretty much you know oh yeah for sure especially models now influencers tiktokers i mean if you're gonna do a post on social media you want your makeup to look bomb so i on think this point. is for everyone absolutely absolutely i might i might stop by and say hello oh yes please <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh we're gonna start right away and we, okay. we have a lot of fashion news and in the fashion news of the week uh, I'm going to start with your favorite girl ever, and she is not my favorite girl, but uh, we're talking about beauty, and uh, you're here, and guess who has a new line of beauty products? Miss Kim Kardashian is teasing on Instagram about uh, uh, new uh, palettes and colors for her line. Um, talk to I me about what floral. you think. I feel like we're gonna see a lot of blush tones, maybe some neutrals. It's definitely gonna be a soft glam palette from what I'm seeing here from the teaser. I don't even know if it's gonna be a palette. I mean, what do you think it's gonna be? I don't know. I just don't know about this bottom part of her outfit. I just think, oh. <laughs> I wish it was at least the same color or darker. I don't like the white bottom. It's I just, just like think it makes her look huge. I mean, I know that she okay, goes for that extra booty. Wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she wants that Cardi B. Uh, well, that originally is her, uh, but it's just that whole wide, wide, wide. I just think her face, her neck, her boobs, that floral top is just sickening. But then the bottom, I'm like, ooh. I just, yeah, the I, bottom I just... should have been nude too, or like a dark brown or something. All right, so we are talking about uh, beauty products, and there's another. This is your diva, and now my diva is actually introducing a line of uh, skincare. And this okay. is actually with the launch of her first ever beauty line. JLo is bringing her secret sauce for aging backward to a Sephora near you. Do you know what Sephora is, Lisa? Never heard of it. Definitely never <laughs> been there. I think I was there today. Oh, you were? And yesterday, Probably. and the day before, <laughs> yes, and the day before. Every day. But what do you think this is going to be? Because I haven't seen like a release. It's, it's again like teasings that they, they put on Instagram. This has to be skincare because they said it's aging backwards. So it's probably going to be a face cream or an eye cream or even like a foundation, like a CC cream that's infused with anti-aging goodies. Yeah, I, I cannot wait to see what this is because whatever she's selling, I'm buying because she's 50 something and I need to I need to get on that train. Oh my um, gosh, Carlos, last year, around this exact time, there was a football game at the JLo concert. Did you hear about that? Yes, and this yeah. year, there, this year there was a weekend person <laughs> concert. I don't even know who the weekend is. I thought it was <laughs> right. like the weekend, we're starting again on Friday, but I just don't understand. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, it, it's crazy. I. I Anyway, let's let's get away from <laughs> from from those shenanigans. Sports. Um, do you like royalty queen? What because kind of royalty? well, obviously, I'm yes. talking about the British, the British darling. And oh, uh, what are they doing now? Well, they're doing a movie of, of Princess <gasps> Diana, and this is Ooh. Kristen. This is actually Kristen Stewart as Lady Diana. And I, I just, love it. Oh my god. I think she looks amazing. I'm like, yes. I've never been a fan of hers, but I think her makeup and hair is just on point. And and we have some viewers that saw the week the weekend. My friend Paul. Hi Paul. He's saying that 
it was kind of boring. That's what I heard, like all over the all over the face, all over the Facebook. You know, <laughs> but we have to give a shout out to Caro, who's styling at the Super Bowl. Good for her. I love me some Caro. Okay, yes. so, this lady. Did you watch? Do you watch Netflix a lot? Because I don't think you have time with all the stuff I that you do. I don't have time. No, I don't. Yeah. But I they, do need a show recommendation. Well, no, in the Queen, there was a whole story about oh, the Crown. Uh, I love that one. I mean the crown of the queen. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. I love that but one. They, but they had a whole story of um, of Lady Diana and, and the, the, the actress was just amazing. And I just mm -hmm. think like, oh my God, I cannot get enough of Lady D or Lady Diana as we call it. Yeah. All right. So let's move it right along because we're going to wrap it up in a half hour. But before we go, I want us to hear a word from our sponsors and uh, Bella Reina Spa. It's uh, the one stop for all things beauty. Let's Yay, take a look at Bella Reina Spa. Bella Reina Spa is my favorite spa. It's on Delray Beach. Uh, I know you're addicted to your facials. I, I am. I can hook you up, although I'm sure that you have your person. But uh, if you ever want to try something else, let's let's make it happen. I'm so down. I'm all about self-care. <laughs> if I could go to the spa every day, I'd be there. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You live a spa every day. I do. Well, I wish. <laughs> now, do you give your little, uh, what's the name of your dog? Luxie. Luxy, and she is the most spoiled dog ever. She flies yeah. like first class, not even first class, she's above first class everywhere around <laughs> the country. And uh, one of the things that I love about you is, is your love for animals. I love animals. I have cats. My sister has like, do I dare say, she has 10 dogs. Yes. That sounds like heaven. That's yeah, exactly. what I want to do when I grow up. Oh my god! But she she lives in a in a, in, a, in Puerto Rico in a town like up in the mountains, and she has like an oh acre gosh. of How you know, amazing. so she can let them out and not have to walk them and all of that stuff. But I just love animals, and um, that brings me to a section that I love to share with everybody, and it's a section that uh, 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 a part of the show that I think is going to get bigger and bigger because we need uplifting stories mm -hmm. and things that make us feel better. And it's called the best thing of the week and the best thing of the week. So imagine, what was the name of the dog again? Mine? Luxie. Luxie. Okay, so let's go dramatic. Da, 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 da. Okay. Let's say that you lost Luxie. No. Like you lost Luxie. Stop. And like you lost, no, you didn't even lose her for like a minute or an hour. You lost her for a few days and then you find her. And how would you feel? And that's what the best thing of the week is. This is a dog that was reunited with her owner after many days. I don't even know. I tried to research to see how many oh days was. Gosh. And this is Dan Le Levy, who is uh, the guy from Schitt's Creek, the actor. Mm -hmm. And he posted on Instagram. And I kind of died when I saw this video. I died. Let's see the best thing of the oh, week. The it. reuniting of the mom with the doggy. Gets me every time. I oh my god, Lexi! 
<laughs> okay, so imagine you finally reunited with her after not having her for five days. How would no, you be? I, I, and how I was she? I just saw the, the the doc could not hold any more emotions I in. Know, it was I know. I'm oh I'm surprised God. I didn't see like liquid <laughs> liquid coming out of the doggy. But uh, oh. hi, Luxie, you're so beautiful. Yeah. She's gonna hi. send you an invoice for this appearance. She's exactly. very busy. <laughs> Is she <laughs> part of the that. Actors Guild Award? Yes. I mean, uh, society or whatever it's called all right so let's uh go back to fashion news of the week and in the fashion news of the week we're going to go a little bit we, we went into beauty and now we're gonna go into fashion and in fashion we have whoa gucci's new upside down eyeglasses frame for you to try okay what do we feel about these I don't know. I just don't like the angle because it's like a downward angle, which kind of makes the face look droopy and your eyes look droopy. So I don't think it's very flattering aesthetically. Um, I, I'm actually yeah. kind of upset that this is actually Gucci because what you said are exactly the same words that I thought. I was like, this is droopy. This is down. As we know, beauty, you want to lift up and separate. Lift yeah, up you want and that separate. Beauty. Lift up and separate. And this is just not right. I don't like mm -hmm. it. Um, I don't like it at all. Uh, Mr. Paul, fashion fashion diva himself, he's like, ooh. Um, and that's exactly how I feel. This is just, to me, it reminds me of like a Harry Potter character. Do you know? I'm like, yeah. it's, it's just not cute. So let's keep it clean and let's keep it um uh let's keep it clean and let's keep it smelling pretty. Can we pretty. just like let's just not make this a trend like everyone watching can we just not make that happen please? Thank you. This <laughs> is a trend that needs to go because it's a little just, stinky. Yeah. And you know what also it's a little stinky? What? Uh farts. <laughs> uh, really? Yeah, a fashion news Why of the week. Like roses? Uh, so what is check this? this out. So You're this joking. is this is not a joke, people. <gasps> this is why you watch Trendencias all the time. You're it, joking. Uh, oh yes, these are pads that you put on your underwear, outside your underwear. This is subtle butt fart. <laughs> And okay. you put that under your panties, and it's a fart neutralizing pad. Uh, you can get this on Amazon.com. This is not a joke, people. This is not Fun. a joke, people. This is something for you. Yeah, um, uh, because we keep it classy at Trendencias, you know? Yeah. And uh, that's 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 the way we roll here. Um, oh, my gosh. Do you, do you see yourself ever wearing? No, my farts smell like roses. You don't even fart, right? I don't. You're right. I, 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 you know what? I didn't even want to put this in the show because I was like, this is going to haunt me okay, yeah, for the rest of my life. <laughs> so we went from like, we went happened. from like ugly Gucci to stinky farts. And okay, I just, like, no. we, Can we, we need to bring the glam back. Let's, let's talk about bring the J glam back. But, you know, we're going to talk about the most glam things. We're going to take it from the bottom of the barrel to the top of the barrel. And that is, uh, what, we just had the whole spring to 2021 uh, couture shows in uh, Paris Ooh, and okay. Milan. And um, we, I searched for all of the shows and we're gonna do another show full of more fashion shows. But Jean-Baptiste Bali is one of my favorite, oh, favorite I designers. Love the yes. extra, like fluffy. I it's all, it. it's all about the volume girl. And mm -hmm. for those of you who are watching, Please make sure you bucket. If you saw an, uh, a show on the Super Bowl that was not giving you life, this will give you life. Let's take a look at Jean Baptiste Valley, Spring 2021.
What? I did I love... did I elevate the look here? Yes. We took it from the gutter. We took it to the max. Yes. Oh uh, my gosh. I love gonna, everything. I created some slides so we can go over some of the looks that we saw. And the first one is this one. And one of the things that I love about John Batista Valley is that uh, it's all about the volume and the, the shape of the garment. It's not about, mm -hmm. and he even says that it's, uh, couture is not about the decoration or the embellishments. He says that it's all about volume. Look at these looks. What do you think? I love the one with the roses on the top with the white bottom. That's stunning. And it's like perfect for Valentine's Day, which is next week. So love it. So you would wear this to <laughs> to welcome France when he comes home from work? No, it'll probably make me look fat. So I'm definitely going to wear a lot less. Maybe like... I could, I could see this little robe in the middle. Yeah, that one's cute. I like that. I could see the robe and then you just take the rope out of the middle and then do a reveal. A reveal. Yeah, at least a, at least a Opie reveal. Um, <laughs> I, I, I just love the volume. I love red. I think it's very, uh, it, it just never goes out of fashion. I love the fact that he does blacks, but actually let's see the black ones. So here we go. This gives me like Spanish, bolero, cha-cha mm -hmm. a little bit, but uh, the one on the right, I just love that fabric that has is sheer, but it has this cream yeah. um, print, but it's not print. I'm sure those are what up is that? And that when you do amazing. couture, everything is done by hand. So I'm sure this is not some cheap, cheap I was going to say a bad word, but cheap fabric. Um, <laughs> but this is actually done extremely, extremely tediously. Uh, uh, it, it just takes forever. I just... I love the bows on the one on the left with the red and the black over here. And then this blush tool in the middle with the flower mask. I just think oh, it's I'm amazing. Uh, he, uh, uh, Vogue wrote about this specific collection and uh, Jean Batista said that there were thousands and thousands of layers of taffeta in this collection. He wow. said that this is a collection that he, he called it Go Big and stay home. <laughs> uh, I love where, that. Isn't it great? Go big and stay home. Um, were the words that he said to to Vogue in an interview. And he is not known for subtle. Uh, it's not about simple or subtle. It's, it's about extra, extra. And I know that you're all about makeup and hair. And I wanted to do this slide for you because I think this is quite stunning. Ooh. Yeah, it's kind of oh, Victorian. I, I, yes. I know my friend Eva uh, commented that Victorian is very in. I love all these bows. I could see this on a fabulous photo shoot. I think it's mm -hmm. just great. It's gorgeous. What it's do you super think? Super Marie Antoinette. I love it. I wonder how if they put like some sort of filler inside the wig so it stays up, like they foam had to. or something. Yeah. Or because like that, even like cotton or something, just tease it like crazy and then wrap the hair around it. For yeah, sure. Yeah, and I know, you, yeah, you are a little cheap, so I could see your dog being under your hair, so you could put uh -huh. the volume in there. <laughs> yeah, wait till she has to go to the bathroom. I'm gonna need that. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna need that fart pad. <laughs> and you're like, my my hair dies running, Rudy Giuliani. Oh, no. I'm kidding, <laughs> kidding, kidding, kidding. Uh, oh, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to get a little political. Oh, uh, so uh, Lisa, what's next for you? Talk to me about this store that you have uh, in Miami. Oh yes, okay. So we're opening up this store. It's the Lady Code Shop, like the HQ. It's this massive space, though. So there's actually a ton of space, multiple rooms, multiple storefronts. So there'll be a Vizcaya store in its own little setup and also a photo studio where we do productions. And of course, in the middle, we have a glam room where I do all of my clients' makeup. It's gonna be so pretty. I can't wait. It's just a process. So it's a, a one-stop beauty. Mm -hmm. It oh is, like everything I do, I'm so excited. It's amazing, it's amazing. I'm so happy for everything that you're doing. I am so glad you. that you were sitting with me on the first show during the Super Bowl, mind you. Uh, yes. You look amazing, and I Thank can't wait you. to have you back again in the show. For those of you who are watching or you're watching on Rerun, please make sure you follow us at C.A. Marrero on Instagram at Lisa underscore Opie. 
right there on the screen. Uh, you can please follow us on uh, Facebook, Tendencias with Carlos Marrero, YouTube, Tendencias Live, and Instagram, Tendencias Live. Thank you so much for being with us, everybody. This is Lisa Opie. My name is Carlos Marrero, and you are watching Tendencias. Bye. Bye. Thank you.